I'm going to read from uh, Psalm 105. Psalm 105. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him, sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvellous works uh, that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of um, Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen, he is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He hath remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. Saying unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance, when ye were but a few men in number, yea, very few, and strangers in it, when ye went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people. He suffered no man or permitted no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not thine anointed, uh, mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Moreover, he called for a famine upon the land. He brake the whole staff of bread. He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant, whose feet they hurt with fetters. He was laid in iron. Until the time that his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. The king sent and loosed him, even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his substance, to bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his senators wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham and he increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people to deal subtly with his servants. He sent Moses his servant and Aaron whom he had chosen. They showed his signs among them and wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made it dark, and they rebelled not against his word. He turned their waters into blood and slew their fish. Their land brought forth frogs in abundance in the chambers uh, of their kings. He spake, and there came diverse sorts of flies, or different sorts of flies, and lice in all their coasts. He gave them hail for rain, and uh, flaming fire in their land. He smote their vines also, and their fig trees, and brake the trees of their coasts. He spake, and the locusts came, and caterpillars, and that without number, and did eat up all the herbs in their land, and devoured the fruit of their ground. He smote also all the firstborn in their land, the chief of all their strength. He brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Egypt was glad when they departed, and the fear of them fell upon them. He spread a cloud for a covering, and fire to give light in the night. The people asked, and he brought quails, and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock, and the waters gushed out. They ran in the dry places like a river. 
for he remembered his uh, holy promise and Abraham his servant. And he brought forth his people with joy and his chosen with gladness and gave them the lands of the heathen. And they inherited the labor of the people that they might observe his statutes and keep his laws. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 106, praise ye the Lord. O give thanks unto the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. You know, we can see the mercy of God displayed in the person of Jesus Christ who hung upon that cross for you and for me. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and he was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. I wonder, is your soul saved? Are you on your way to heaven? Are you still on the broad road that leads down to hell and destruction? There's no need for that. You can change directions. You can get right with God. Your soul can be saved as a result of repentance toward God. That is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner. And then put your faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can show forth all his praise? Blessed are they that keep judgment, and he that doeth righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with the favour that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation, that I may see the good of thy chosen, that it may I may rejoice in the gladness of thy uh, nation, that I may glory with thine inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers, we have committed iniquity, we have done wickedly. Our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt, they rem remember not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoked him at the sea, even at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them from his na uh, for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it was dried up. So he led them through the depths as though the wilderness. And he saved them from the hand of him that hated them, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. And the waters covered their enemies, uh, there was not one of them left, left. Then believed they his words, they sang his praise, they soon forgot or forgot his works, they waited not for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness, and tempted God in the desert. And he gave them their request, but sent leanness into their soul. They envied Moses, also in the camp, and Aaron, the saint of the Lord. The earth opened and swallowed up Dathan, and covered the company of Abiram. And a fire was kindled in their company, the flame burned up with, uh, with up the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb and worship the molten image. Thus they changed their glory into the similitude of an ox that eateth grass. They forget God their Saviour, for uh, which had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and terrible things by the Red Sea. Therefore he said that he would destroy them, had not Moses, his chosen, stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. Yea, they despised the pleasant land and believed not his word, but murmured in their tents and hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord. Therefore he lifted up his hand against them and overthrew them in the wilderness to overthrow to overthrow their seed also among the nations and to scatter them in the, la the lands. They joined themselves also unto Baal Peor 
and ate the sacrifices of the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions, and the plague break in upon them. Then stood up uh, Phinehas and executed judgment, and so the plague was stayed. And that was counted unto him for righteousness unto all generations forevermore. They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes, because they provoked his spirit, so that he spake unadvisedly with his lips. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto demons, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters. It reminds me of abortion in this country. Whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. Thus were they defiled with their own works, and went a whoring with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen, and they that hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry, and he remembered for them his covenant and repented according to the multitude of his mercies. He made them also to be uh, pitied of all those that carried them captives. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph in thy praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting, and let all the people say Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 107. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth for ever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered them out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distresses. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city of habitation. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfieth the longing soul, and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebelled against the words of God, and contemned the counsel of the Most High. Uh, therefore he brought down their heart with labour, they fell down, and there was none to help. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and break their bands in sunder. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he hath broken the gates of brass, and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Fools, because of their transgression, and because of their iniquities, are afflicted. Their soul abhorreth all manner of meat, 
and they draw near unto the gates of death. Then they cry unto the Lord in uh, their trouble, and he saveth them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works, which, uh, works to the children of men. And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving, and declare his works with rejoicing. They that go down to the sea in ships, that do business in great waters, um, these see the works of the Lord, and his wonders in the deep. For he commandeth and uh, raiseth the stormy wind, which lifteth up the waves thereof. They mount up to the heaven, they go down again to the depths, their soul is uh, melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro and stagger like a drunken man and are at their wit's end. And they cry unto the Lord in their trouble and he bringeth them out of their distresses. He maketh the storm a calm so that the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad because they be quiet so he bringeth them unto their desired haven. O oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turneth rivers into a wilderness and the water springs into dry ground the fruitful land into barrenness, for the wickedness of them that dwell therein, he turneth the wilderness into a standing water, and dry ground into water springs. And there he maketh the hungry to dwell, that they may prepare a city for habitation, and sow the fields, and plant vineyards, which may yield fruits of increase. He blesseth them also, so that they are multi uh, uh, multiplied greatly, and suffereth not their cattle to decrease. Again, they are minished and brought low through oppression, affliction, and sorrow. He poureth contempt upon princes, and causeth them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way. He setteth, yet setteth he the poor on high from affliction, and maketh him fa uh, families like a flock. The righteous shall see it and rejoice, and all iniquity shall stop her mouth. Whoso is wise and will observe these things, even they shall understand the loving kindness of the Lord. Now we see the loving kindness of the Lord fully displayed in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. But is he your Saviour? You need to make him yours personally. Yes, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. But we need to understand that we as individuals before the God of heaven are sinners in his sight when we're born into this world. We need to have the forgiveness for our sins. We need to have the righteousness of God. And the only way we can receive the righteousness of God is through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. The only way that we can be in heaven is if we do have the righteousness of God imputed unto us as a free gift through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. I wonder, what have you done with the Lord Jesus Christ? That will determine your eternal destiny. It depends what you do with the Lord Jesus Christ as to where you'll be throughout all of eternity. Eternity is forever and ever. We cannot wrap our minds around eternity. 
Our little finite minds cannot understand it. But the Lord knows how long eternity is. And you and I know in a small measure. And you and I have to realize that we will go out into eternity at the moment of death. We will be somewhere. That is, our spirit and soul leave our body at the moment of death. Where will it be? Where will they be? Five seconds after I die. Heaven through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ or down in hell because you have rejected or neglected the Lord Jesus Christ who this afternoon desires to be your Saviour. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And that can be yours. This afternoon you can get right with God as a result of repentance toward God, as I keep on saying, that is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and then put your faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. Just moving on now to Psalm 108. O oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise even with my glory. Awake, soldier in harp, I, I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people, and I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great above the heavens, and thy truth reacheth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth, that thy beloved may be delivered, save with thy right hand, and answer me. God has spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice, I will divide Shechem, and meet out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim also is the strength of mine head, Judah is my lawgiver, Moab is my washpot, over Edom will I cast out my shoe, over Philistia will I triumph, who will bring me into the strong city, who will lead me into Edom. Wilt, wilt, thou, uh, wilt not thou, O God, who hast cast us off, and wilt not thou, O God, go forth with our hosts? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through God we shall do valiantly, for he uh, it is that shall tread down our enemies. And that has taken place at the cross of Calvary. The Lord Jesus Christ has overcome the evil one. He's overcome the devil. Sin, death, hell and the grave, they are all... They have all been overcome by our Lord Jesus Christ. He made a triumph. He triumphed over them gloriously at the cross of Calvary when he was made sin for us that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. And so you and I have to realize that when we're born into this world, we're born as sinners. We need forgiveness for those sins. The only way of forgiveness is through the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. He's the perfect Lamb of God, the one who came down from heaven to live the perfect life upon this earth that you and I could never ever live, and then die the perfect death upon the cross of Calvary. Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and he was buried, and he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. I wonder, is he your Saviour this afternoon? You need to make him yours. There are many people and they've believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. They've become children of God through faith in Christ. What about you? Don't reject him any longer. If that's you that's been rejecting him up to this point in your life, you need to believe on him. You need to receive him. He came unto his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him, that's Jesus Christ to them, gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. You need to be born again into God's family through faith in our Lord and Saviour, 
Jesus Christ. Psalm 109, Hold not thy peace, O God, of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are open against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They compassed me about also with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. For my love, they, have, uh, they are my adversaries, but I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. Set thou a wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. Let his children be continually vagabonds, and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places, let the extortioner catch all that he hath, and let the stranger spoil his labour. Let there be none to extend mercy unto him, neither let there be any to favour his fatherless children. Let his posterity be cut off, and in the generation following let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of his fathers be remembered with the Lord." and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out. Let them uh, be before the Lord continually, that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth, because that he remembered not to show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy man, that he might even slay the broken in heart. As he loved cursing, so let it come unto him, uh, as he delighted not in blessing, so let it be far from him. As he clothed himself with cursing, like as with his garment, so let it come into his bowels like water, and like oil into his bones. Let it be unto him as the garment which covereth him, and for a girdle, wherewith he is girded continually. Let this be the reward of mine adversaries from the Lord, and of them that speak evil against my soul. But do thou for me, O God, the Lord, for thy name's sake, because thy mercy is good, deliver my soul. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, Mine eyes from tears and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believe, therefore have I spoken. I was greatly afflicted. I said in my haste, all men are liars. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits toward me? I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I wonder, would that describe you this afternoon? I will take the cup of salvation in relation to your salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, that is the Lord Jesus Christ, shall be saved. That can be you this afternoon. You can get right with God as a result of repentance toward God. As I said, that's a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you are a sinner and then put your faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the de death of his saints. O Lord, truly I am thy servant, I am thy servant and the son of thine handmaid. Thou hast loosed my bonds I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon thy name. Sorry, and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of thee, O Jerusalem, praise ye the Lord. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, 
that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him, that is on Jesus Christ, is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Neither cometh to the light, lest their deeds should be reproved. Yes, I wonder, do you realize that you are a sinner in the sight of the Lord as you've been born into this world? You need forgiveness for those sins. There's only one way of forgiveness, that is through the precious blood of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Get right with God this afternoon through faith in our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do it now before it's forever and eternally too late. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. See, the heaven or hell, it's all determined by what you do with our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. If you're interested in this, look me up, youtube.com forward slash peace by Jesus Christ. God bless you. And thanks for listening.